Selecting the wrong wire rope pulley can easily be the difference between a project being a resounding success or a colossal failure. Hi everyone, Craig Simon here from Carl Stahl Saba Industries. Today I want to talk about wire rope pulleys. Specifically, three fundamentals everybody should know to help you select the right one for you. Selecting the right wire rope pulley is the same thing as selecting the right wine to go with the right cheese. Selecting the wrong two can take two perfectly good products and make them very disappointing overall. At the same time, you can take two good products and enhance them even more than what you thought was even possible. So let's dive in. The first point I want to make is selecting the right groove for your pulley. An example I have here is a wire rope pulley that has a U-shaped channel in the middle of it. And a U-shaped channel is exactly what it says. It's shaped like a U. In every case, you want to use this type of channel with wire rope because it best matches the contour of the cable. There's other pulleys out there though. Some pulleys have a flat groove. Some pulleys have a V-shaped groove. Those pulleys are actually made for use with belts, not cable. And you'd be surprised how often mistakes are made. If you tried using a piece of cable with a flat groove, the cable is only going to make contact at the very bottom of the U. Not very good adhesion, not very good grip. Similar is true if you use a V-shaped groove. The cable is only going to touch at the two intersecting points of the V. Not ideal. A U-groove is what you want every single time. So we have the U-groove. We're done, right? No, we're not. That brings me to my second point. The size of the U-groove is just as important as the U-groove itself. And this is the perfect Goldilocks scenario. Too big, too small, or just right. So if you have a pulley and you have a piece of cable where the cable's too big, you'll see here, by my thumb behind it, you can see the bottom of the U-channel in, you know, in, in the photo here. This isn't going to work because the cable's too large and it's putting stress on the sidewalls of the pulley as well as the sidewalls of the cable itself. And what you're going to have is premature failure. The same can be true if you have a piece of cable that's too small and a U-groove that's too big. It's just going to sit in here like this tiny piece of cable in this cavern and only make contact with the very bottom of the U-channel. You might as well just use a flat groove here. The other problem you're introducing here is there's all this space on the left and right side of the U-channel and you risk excessive lateral movement of the cable and that excessive movement can lead to, you guessed it, premature failure. What you want is Goldilocks, finding the right bed to sleep in, the right piece of cable, the right U-groove, and it sits in there perfectly, nests in there comfortably like a mother holding a newborn. Ideally, you want a third the circumference of the cable to make contact with the U-groove. What's next is probably the most frequently asked question we get about pulleys. What size pulley do I need? If you're using a 7x7 construction cable, you can start with a pulley that has a diameter 40 times the diameter of the cable. A 7x19 construction cable, start with a pulley that has a diameter that's 25 times the diameter of the cable. For a 7x49 construction cable, you can start with a pulley that's 15 times the diameter of the cable. You might be picking up on a theme here. A 7x7 cable has 49 wires. A 7x19 cable has 133 wires. A 7x49 cable has 143, I'm sorry, 343 wires in it. So as the number of wires go up, the pulley diameter is going down. That's because the more wires that are used to make up the cable, the more easily flexible it's going to be. That means you can use a smaller pulley because it's okay making those tight bends. Every application has other factors to it, such as the load, the speed at which the pulley or cable are moving, even the environment. So in all applications, we recommend testing be performed to see what works best for you. Go to savacable.com for a complete list of our products. Leave any questions or ideas in the comments. You can find us anywhere on social media. And remember, we have a full machining department that can custom manufacture just about anything. Let us know how we can help you. Thanks.